All right, more with David Harris right after this. But first, let's take a look at the Panther offensive unit for the football team. There's a, a really high expectation this year. Uh, I know Coach has been kind of preaching on us that he expects a lot from us. We have a lot of returners from uh, last season. Uh, we put up some good numbers last season, and, and we've been trying to put up even way more than last, last year. Of the 19 starters returning from last year's 8-5 and five team that won its opening FCS playoff game, 10 of those are on offense. Quarterback Eli Dunn heads into his senior season with many talented wide receivers looking to step into the role left by Darius Fountain, who graduated to the NFL. We don't really have a drop off. Every single receiver in our meeting room is very talented and can have the possibility of playing. We've got lots of, you know, like you said, deep threats, um, lots of taller, bigger guys, but um, we know how to we know how to make plays in the open field as well. If we get the ball in our hands, we'll be able to make something happen. So. The top two running backs from last year are back with Marcus Weimiller and Trevor Allen, the expected one-two punch. It's good to have each other to bounce things off, frustrations and, you know, also encouragement. And then there's a lot of young guys in the room, so you, we got to be able to, you know, teach those guys, but it's also kind of refreshing and be like, you know, you came a long way when you look back at it, you know, seeing those guys and, you know, what they're going through, but they're doing a great job. And there's a lot of guys in the room that are just, you know, doing the best they can to find a role. The offensive line returns three upperclassmen starters to anchor down an offense focused on getting off to faster starts each game this season. But I think our practice schedules actually help that as well. Um, we kind of do. We're kind of doing something new where, um, right after the stretch, we go hop in right into an offense versus defense setting. It's kind of unexpected, and you're actually really tired doing it, obviously, because you just you just did a whole stretching routine. You're running around and stuff, and you hop in and have to go against the defense. But it's good practice, and it's good uh, kind of conditioning as well. So I think that'll really help us with our offensive uh, game plan and getting out right away. 